POV, you've just got a text from your girls that you're going out of town in about two days and you need some looks. I've got you covered with these two beautiful looks from Komei. They're available on Amazon Prime. They're super affordable and I'm going to show you how I install both. Even better, they're both glueless wigs. I have a coupon code in the description box for you guys to be able to purchase. And did I mention these are Amazon Prime wigs? So this is the packaging for both. As I mentioned, these both came from Amazon. The brand is Komei and they sent me over two side part bob wigs they're pretty much the same wig but you get to experience it in two different colors um, they do each come with a pack of wig caps which you can customize by adding a little bit of your foundation powder and this is what the first one looks like this is a black side part bob wig the dimensions are 4.5 by 13 and you'll be able to rock this one glueless as i did mention to you guys she does come with an elastic band and then the other one is pretty much the same thing the only difference is we have a little bit of blonde with the dark root going with this one and i think these are both very very easy easy to wear beginner friendly wigs and again imagine having like two days to get something together you're trying to get your looks together you can literally purchase both they'll be at your door and ready to go before your trip out of town these are also going to be perfect wigs for fall and winter season when it comes to your holiday pictures they're affordable but you know they give you the look and the vibe with the sweaters and the boots so again i'm trying on the dark one first this is pretty much like a black brown a natural brown color i did cut off a little bit of the lace first just to be able to see so that we can go ahead and style and customize her to my liking here's a look at the hairline as i mentioned you do get 13 inches of lace across the front and then this is a look at the cut in the back it's very high quality for it to be you know a really fairly priced wig i'm just combing it out and just deciding you know how i want it to sit because this is a side part bob you can definitely use your hands to shift the entire wig to be a little bit deeper if that's your choice and it does have a little bit of a curve to the parting but you can kind of straighten it out because there's about two inches of parting space across within that parting space so if you want to like straighten it out a little bit or like curve it out a little bit more you can definitely customize that part yourself here I am just cutting off all of the excess lace because you do get a little bit of lace in the front you can go ahead and like thin it out and you know customize it to your liking I just kind of felt like because it's a bob we can really finesse and not necessarily do so also for this one I did choose to go with the long sideburns and no baby hair now this was my jam back in the day if I was wearing my hair like in a natural style like braids ponytails buns I would do like you know my slick down baby hair with like gel or edge control but when I had like my presses I would do like the long pieces that were like sideburns but they hang you know they hung long you didn't cut them short you didn't gel them you just let them hang forward and that's the vibe I'm giving today I'm gonna use this Kenra I believe this is a blow dry spray I use it as a heat protectant as you guys can see it gives a little bit of sheen so I don't recommend this for your bobs use this for your longer heavier density wigs because you know you want to keep the flow with your bobs it didn't affect the flow this one still was you know definitely not stiff but at the same time you guys can see the shine sometimes when you have a bob when you see shine you can get a little bit nervous with you know whether it's going to come out stiff or oily so just be careful with the products that you use i did go in with the wax stick pretty heavy as well and again this was just my preference to get it as laid and you know the look that i was going for but again sometimes we get nervous when we see shine especially with bobs because we're afraid it's going to give stiff so pretty much here what we did was the dynamic duo which is pretty much to flatten out the top part um it's the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb next i'm going to take my baby list flat iron and i'm just going to go ahead and straighten it out um even though it's already come straight obviously you know it gets a little bit crimped as you guys can see on that opposite side so you want to soak it out and then i kind of like to bump the ends with my bobs and so so this is what I'm doing and I'm using a rat tail comb pretty much as my second hand because you know hair does definitely hold heat so when you use your hand and you're like grabbing the hair to get it into that fly iron, flat iron after it's already come out the flat iron it is pretty hot so using that chase method definitely is a game changer. Here I am and you guys can see it still has nice body and movement and the cut is perfect. This gives like we're going to the fight 
for Vegas. We're going to be poolside at a cabana. This would give a bomb vibe for like a Beyonce concert. Literally anywhere you go, especially like if you're on a grown and sexy vibe, dresses, you know, your shorts, your heels, your boots and sweaters in the wintertime. This is an all season universal go to look where even if you have another look in mind, this is perfect as a backup wig because if you're a wig wearer like me and you know your hair is braided down underneath, you almost always want to pack a good quality wig that is easy to install just in case because you never know you can get your wig snatched it can get damaged so many things can happen and you like to have something that you can just plop on just in case this is even good for like your your trunk your gym wig whatever the case may be this is just a great handy wig and as you guys can see i'm customizing it by tinting the lace with a cream foundation and i'm going into the entire lace so that they're everywhere you see lace it's brown like me and as i mentioned we're going for the long natural sideburns and so because i'm training the hair to go forward i use that electric hot comb to kind of train it to sit in place and then I just bumped the ends and again we kept it 100% glueless it's very much a classy look perfect for pictures perfect for travel perfect for vacation literally anything you got going even a date this one is perfect now we're going to try on some color so this is pretty much the same or similar wig I'm going to go ahead and cut off the entire lace before I even put her on which is typically if I'm not filming a wig but I'm installing it I typically will do this because I can see with my eyes and it's just easier to just go ahead and get that out of the way this is also the way we did it back in the day this is also something we used to do the electric hot comb came out I want to say like circa 2017 2018 we started using the electric hot combs which I had one my mom had one back in the day from the the riots in the 90s so I've always had an electric hot comb on hand but we were taught not to use those with our natural hair but they did become popular you know in recent years but before they became popular when we had our wigs we would just take the flat iron and push it through the lace and kind of just use that to like stamp it out or flatten it out and that is kind of what I did today I'm still gonna go in and touch it up because you guys know I'm extra but as you guys can see here I'm just trying her on for size and just finding my groove I did have to go in and cut off a little bit more around the sideburns and I'm going to do the same style as far as pulling the sideburns and keeping them long and then I did go in and do the dynamic duo again it's all about preference I did do you know prep work but sometimes even when you do prep work you still have to go in and really get it to how you want because for me I'm going to always take my time and get my wigs exactly how I wanted I also did want to mention they do include elastic bands inside of the wig it also includes two combs for a little bit more of a comfort um, or security and then it also has Swiss lace so the lace is not just any old lace it's actually hand tied Swiss lace and here I am just doing that same silk press around the entire wig. Be sure to get the back. Never, ever, ever forget the back because you want it to be cute all the way around. I can just see like a really cute Zara sundress. You can even go she in with this with your makeup popping anywhere you are with some big you know YSL stunner shades some Lueve shades whatever you got going this wig is going to give super fire grown and sexy and I love the fact that it has a dark root now I do want to switch it up for this one so I did add baby hair I didn't want to make it ghetto so I'm just going to add a little edge of control to the base and mine is from bdagbeauty.com and I get it super short like maybe a quarter inch short and then I fan it out around the entire parameter of that parting and i'm going to go ahead and tint the lace as i did with the other one and we are pretty much done with the look be sure that your lace is popping your hair is flat and the bob is bumped and bobbing i did not add the heat protection with this one because blonde for sure will give oily very quick and as you guys can see even with it being um super flat in the front and having that baby hair it is still 100 percent glueless it has a little bit of an ash tone so it's not too blonded in your face especially for the brown girls but this is the finished look as you guys can see i gave two different options to you guys super affordable beginner friendly and i do have a coupon code for you guys in the description box thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video and share with your friends and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches